For some weeks now, some communities in southern Kaduna state have been under siege, attacked by suspected herdsmen. The affected communities include Goska, Jama'a, Kauru Kaura, Godo Godo, Ninte, and Chawai. Houses, shops, motorcycles, farmlands destroyed during the attacks. Before now, the residents here are largely farmers who live in their own homes and farmlands. But now they claim everything they have worked for is gone. They say they have now become refugees in their own land. What we saw is an attack that we saw in that very day. And the attack is still going on now. Even day before yesterday and yesterday too. The attack around Gorogoro side. The villages within Gorogoro, they have burned all their places. In fact, they finished that area. There is no a single house there that remains. And the other area, there are a few houses that still remains, but most of the houses have been burned. In a new twist, however, the leadership of Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria says the killing of some foreign herdsmen and their cattle during the 2011 post-election crisis may be the major cause of this renewed attack. All the killings, all the attacks, most of them are as a result of reprisal. Wherever you see, whichever village you see being attacked, in one way or the other they might have attacked other people. To put an end to the crisis, the state governor, Nasser El-Rufai, has promised to punish anyone or group of people found culpable. Have the confidence that the authorities, law enforcement, will be there to intervene if you have a problem. You don't have to resort to self-help. You don't have to take the law into your own hands. Soldiers and other security agents have since been deployed to the affected areas. As of this morning, I can assure you that uh, the area is very, very calm. We have not recorded any incident within these few days after the major incident that uh, led to this present crisis. The president has also ordered the inspector general of police to ensure normalcy is returned in the area. With all the efforts from the state and federal governments, most expect the attacks will become a thing of the past, allowing the people of southern Kaduna go back to their normal lives.